Have you ever seen an Abaddon that looks as good as this? I mean, have you? Spiky bits. Welcome back, hobby maniacs. I'm Rob Bear from SpikyBits.com, and we have a treat for you today. Castlebrush.eu painted up an Abaddon for us and sent it over for, you know, some promotion and some, you know, recognition and stuff for their new studio. They're not even a year old, but a lot of these folks have been painting for a number, number, number of years to have a very professional looking website. And as you can see, their, their quality of their miniatures is some of the best out there. This is one of the most amazing miniature works of art I've ever held in my hand. So over on the Castle Brush EU site, you can check out all the stuff they do from the different levels they offer to a showcase of previously painted miniatures. And there he is right there. And we've got him in the studio, so we're gonna show you and you're gonna see just how good he looks in person as opposed to just on a picture on the internet. So they have a really cool looking website and it resizes itself, so I was able to actually center it into uh, the browser right here but to find out more about stuff and it's it's kind of good it's a really cool site like to kind of dig through it and stuff they're going to tell you about the gallery or the uh the studio themselves and they've already outgrown their first location so the pictures in here kind of uh haven't been quite updated yet no big deal but what we want to talk about probably is the service and prices and i've already got that preloaded because my internet's been wonky because we got uh, a lot of storms lately but it, either way they've got a really cool little breakdown of what levels they have, what you get for those levels and prices. So just real quick, just give you an overview of how this is if you're interested in getting commission done by them. They have some good guy stuff and some bad guy stuff and you can kind of click on this and play around with it and then zoom in and do 360 stuff, which is really cool. It's, an, it's a really neat, very forward thinking website right here that we've kind of never seen before from anyone else. So they put, you know, if they put half the time into their mentions as they did in their website, it, it's e easy to say what you're gonna get for your money right here, but we all know they can paint really well too just by seeing that Abaddon. So they've got a couple different levels here, level one, level two champion, and they don't have a slider bar. You just literally scroll, which I thought was kind of cool. Then they've got Overlord, which they recommend for their, uh, you know, sergeants and leaders and stuff. And if you really wanna get crazy with the cheese whiz and go all out, they've got this Emperor level, which is what Abaddon is painted up to with a little bit of freehand and etc cetera, etc cetera. so it's a little bit more of a custom job because you know they wanted it to be a showpiece oh they're just not okay there we go so they wanted it to be a showpiece so uh so they could show it off but here it is emperor level with a little bit of free hand i think you can see there i don't think that's part of the miniature maybe it is and i'm speaking but look at the blade and look at all the details in there and again it's hard for me to resize so go over and check out their site for yourself to see better looking quality images in a much larger format now, pricing wise, what we were talking about, uh, they have all the different level one, level two, level three, level four, which is the emperor level, which is what Abaddon is. They quote that separately, but as you can see, it's gonna be higher than $500. And they told me they did a little bit more freehand, which is actually handled over here on this pricing. So it was a large, difficult freehand because they did uh, those large areas of both the front and the back of the cape. So that being said, the invoice they gave me for this Obviously we exchange for promotion and uh, being featured here on the page and the website, YouTube, all of the things. But what they quoted me was $680 for this miniature US. And I'm sure you're already like, that's a lot of money. And it is, but it's a miniature work of art, literally. And we're gonna show it to you. It's insane. So here he is in all the glory of the dark gods. Now, like I said, I don't get stuff like this in here very often. So I wanna break it down as best I can and really just looking at it from a purely artistic standpoint, which I'm not qualified to do, but I feel like I've been in a hobby enough to, you know, eh, give it the old college try. Now this is, remember, this is their level four, this is their emperor, and we'll compare it to what the description is on their site here in a second. But from out here, and not zooming in on anything, but we will in a second, trust me. You can kind of see a lot of different things at this point. You can see the demon sword dracking up here. You can see the torch back here, and you can kind of see the spikes up here on the trophy rack, and of course, maybe the helmet, the blood angel's helmet, which is just dirty. After, after murderizing Sanguinius, you're gonna have a blood angel's helmet on there? Oof, I like it. So regardless, that's the first thing you see right here. And then as you start, that kind of brings you in. And then as you start, and maybe you know, like the, the, the really poppy non-metal metallic golds down here, which are completely in contrast, but entirely appropriate for being Imperial down here, to the dark metal 
kind of like dark me dark mechanicum kind of feel to a suit remember this was made by the dark mechanicum for abaddon and then you start seeing oh wow that's like some crazy dark non-metal metallic gold and then it really hits you the freehand like on the cape there on the tabard and then once we start to kind of move it around a little bit you can see where the flame and the sword really pop as you turn the corner here we can see the cape looks just simply incredible the fur up here is all matted down and dirty and dark like he's been wearing it for 10,000 years which you know he might, he might he might go to burlington every couple of times and when he's out sacking katie and stuff but for the most part it's probably uh, it's probably old and dirty and then you see the osl coming off the torch right here which resonates off this imperial wrecked imperial eagle and then also his cape sum right there it's really hard to see him very it's not here but it's definitely here and it's those little nuances that really make this over the top for that emperor level right so now as we get closer to the miniature you can see the ridiculous amount of detail that's actually in this not not only is it i mean everything's base airbrush and then hyper highlighted up but also there's glazing involved here there's all sorts of uh, crazy tom cruise painting witchcraft that goes into this but as you can see I mean, the demon sword itself is um, it's just simply amazing. The the work on the torch, as we get it back in focus here, also incredible. Like they did it. Like look at that glow. Like it it literally looks like it's glowing. It's so poppy. It's so there's no glazing. There's no. It's just expertly blended right there. It's just simply incredible. And then maybe not the helmet so much, but the helmet definitely is noticeable and poppy right there. And then it start, Then you start to kind of look around with your eyes and you see, oh, the lieutenant we always wanted right there. You know, something that struck me as, a, as an interesting note, the old Abaddon was almost 20 years old. And now the new Abaddon, eh, who knows how long it'll be around for. But if they put a Primaris on it, chances are GW is looking to keep the Primaris in the, you know, the whole lexicanum or the whole, um, you know, vernacular of Warhammer 40k for at least another 20 years if I was a betting man. But... You know, there ain't nothing wrong with some primaries. They're very cool looking and it gives people something else to collect, I suppose. So looking at all of that, it's just simply stunning. Now, level four Emperor, we'll go over that here in a second. So just to read it real quick, here it is. Here's their level four Emperor. Remember, this was base like, they don't even give you a base price. The, the base price of the previous level was like 500 bucks. Like I said, this would have been at least $680 for this miniature right here. But I mean, from miniature to piece of art, most expensive, but also most rewarding level. Every Emperor miniature is unique and easily distinguishable amongst others. Therefore, each miniature is priced individually, which makes sense. It's just what you always wanted and what we probably provide. So if you're a super, super fan of, of a particular miniature, something out there in the Warhams or any other you know miniature line out there, maybe you might want to consider this level of painting. Now I took my stupid face out of the picture here just so we can literally see the full glory of this miniature. Now skipping ahead, you can see we've talked about the OSL, we've talked about the poppy highlights, we've talked about the dirty cape, the dirty fur cape right there. But then once you start looking at the freehand, the literal freehand, it's almost indistinguishable. Like, is that part of the miniature? Did they just paint that? No, it's a literally inseparable from the paint job itself. There's no brush strokes. There's no telltale signs. Look at the little detail on the little uh, Talon of Horus bullet feeds right there. Like every inch of this miniature has detail. It's painted. Look at the crazy pop on that eye. It's It looks almost like a demonic at the bottom of it with the glazes and the way they just kind of left it and how it fades from dark to light going up and down. And then the back is where it really starts to show through like, oh, okay. <laughs> I start to get it here. Like, just look at every little instance, every little inch, every single non-existent, non-visible brush stroke, but yet everything is expertly blended, seamlessly worked into the miniature. It's just incredible. Like, like I said, this we don't see these very often here. And then when you pull it out and you kind of look at the bigger picture of the base itself, you can see where they actually added in a lot more texture areas and stuff like that and filled in the gaps and then a bunch of different basing elements as well really help to kind of pull all of this miniature together and really make it into literally a miniature work of art. Okay, the stupid face is back and that's just to wrap up this video here. So I think it goes without saying, 
gorgeous miniature. So please consider Castle Brush Studios, castlebrush.eu for all your commission projects out there. I'm sure whether it's something as over the top and utterly ridiculous, but yet a piece of miniature art, or, you know, maybe you just want 20, 30 models, 2000 point army, Maybe you want some Star Wars Legion. Well, they probably got you covered as well for all their different levels there that we've showed you. It kind of doesn't matter. Hit them up, see what they have to say. They, they'd be glad to hear from you. We've been talking since I think about November of last year, give or take. They had a, uh, they contributed some stuff to Adepticon, a raffle army. So they're making a difference out there. They're not just in it for the money. These, these folks are true artists and I can't say enough good things about my interaction so far with them. And obviously they're quality workmanship as well. So thank you very much for watching this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can be the very first to like and comment on all our videos.